Well, good afternoon, Dirtfish friends. Last time we talked to you was before the start of Stage 9, and we knew it was going to be a fascinating morning. Seb Marshall has joined us once again, and Seb, it proved to be just that. One of those mornings where, you know, it was the brave, it was the confident drivers that were rewarded. Yeah, I mean, as we said last night, these two stages this morning, even though they're only short, could provide uh, plenty of opportunities for uh, the times to switch around. And it was almost uh, the pendulum swinging. Thierry Neuville very strong in the first stage. And then in the, the second, slightly longer stage, we saw a massive shift from, from Elvin Evans there. This is what we're seeing, Seb. We're seeing big stage wins here on the Monty. Now, we don't often see it on tarmac rallies. We do occasionally see it on gravel rides. But this is the kind of rally where if you get it right with the tyre choice, perhaps crucially with the information that comes to you from the safety crews and with your confidence levels. 25, 30 seconds is there for the taking on one stage. Completely. I think uh, we saw, obviously, that every every driver of the top uh, top guys was, was on the same tyres. So obviously, that was a great leveller. And then, like you say, it was a case of the information from the gravel crews. We heard a lot of the drivers complaining at the end of the stage that the sun's out here, the temperatures are warming up. They went through two, three hours ago, and it's changed a lot. And I think it's the confidence that the drivers are having they hear ice three left or whatever corner it might be but they look at it they judge the grip and the confident ones will just push through that if the the snow is cleared and uh, it's these little things every corner this is the real value of an ice crew who understand these things who understand the weather who understand the time of day who understand what they're feeling under the car at six o'clock in the morning is going to be quite different from when it's had two hours of sunshine on it at 11 o'clock in the morning my thinking is that Elvin Evans trusted his crew because they gave him information relative to the time of the stage. Yeah, I think uh, it's certainly perhaps something we, we could ask Elvin himself. Um, but it's one of these things as well that even even the information you get, it will have adjusted slightly. And it's just the, the confidence to be able to, to, to read the road and read the grip. And in these sort of variable changing conditions, the, the it's so easy to have a slide on one point and then uh, you'll be hesitant on the next. And uh, Holding that, that rhythm is, is key. You were here last year. Remember Seb Marshall, WRC co-driver, was here with Chris Meek last year. How many changes would you expect to see in your notes from the ice crews, from the information crews? Oh, I mean, for, uh, for the stages this morning, you could probably expect anything up to uh, five, five to six per kilometre. Per kilometre? I mean, in those really tricky sections, okay, where it's consistent and dry. In the second stage, for example, we saw there was maybe a kilometre or so, completely bone-dry tarmac. That's You maybe won't get anything there, but the other parts, after the village, we saw really patchy. And there is where you need to know, this corner's ice, but the next three corners are good, and you have to have each corner labelled almost, good now, and then suddenly ice ruts. There's so many different ways of interpreting it, because an icy corner is not the same as an icy rutted corner, and uh, th these are the kind of information that the gravel crews are providing. To be honest, it's a thankless task. Fabulous insights, fabulous insights from the wonderful Seb Marshall. Let's have a word, though, if we can, with Thierry Neuville. We talked to him before the start of Stage 9. Uh, Thierry, Stage 9 was decent for you. looked as if you were finding a rhythm. Didn't go your way in Stage 10. Any reason that you identified for that? Uh, I don't know. Um, I thought I've done a good stage, uh, to be honest. After, um, we have seen that also, like on Thursday evening, uh, on the conditions, you take a little bit more risk, you can easily go a couple of seconds faster. Um, I followed more or less what uh, uh, the route note crew uh, noted, but obviously ch conditions had changed quite a lot, so maybe I lost a couple of seconds there, but, but not that much as uh, Elfin was able to take out of us. Was it a performance issue with a high on that? I, f I felt well, so I, d I, I didn't feel any worse than on the first stage. So that was why we were a bit surprised. But on the other hand, the rally is still long. Conditions and tyre choice are going to be tricky this afternoon. So um, try to make a, a, a gap to now, this afternoon. Well, as you've shown us already in this event, you can take chunks out of the others if these conditions are right. Best of luck this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, big job. Big job, Seb for Thierry and the team to do, to do. It's always a little bit worrying when they're uncertain as to where the time loss came from. It is, but I think, uh, you know, we heard Thierry say that, OK, there's a couple of seconds in his ice note information. He's probably admitting there's a couple of seconds in himself just lacking that confidence. It's not a significant amount of time. I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but he mentioned there and he alluded to it. This morning we had... Uh, every driver on the same tyre choice. They all took six studded tyres. This afternoon, with the way that the temperatures are warming up, it's not going to be quite so straightforward. You, you've already seen in the, these stages this morning, there's dry patches, there's rutted areas. 
I think we'll see some split tyre choices there. Probably still need to take some studs for the descent of the icy uh, col in the first stage. But do you mix that with a soft or with a super soft? Do you potentially take other tyres for the second stage? They'll all be taking six tyres, that's for sure. But the combination, that's going to be a fascinating element this afternoon. This is the real challenge of the Monty, and this is what makes it absolutely enthralling and captivating that we will see this afternoon different tyre choices. And again, we've mentioned it two or three times, we could see again some big swings. If you get it right, you could just shoot off into the distance. If you get it wrong, you drop back into the field. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and even beyond the uh, the adjustment, even beyond the uh, the adjustment of the tyre choice, it's, uh, it's it's the case that a small spin. Oh, sorry, let's just see if we can get a quick one. He just got into his car. We don't like to disturb him once he closes the door. But Elvin Evans, my goodness me, you've been so calm all weekend, having the rally of your life, particularly this morning. What a stage, stage 10 was. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, you never really know how well or badly things are going until you get to the stop line. Uh, let's say I, I had a, a good, comfortable rhythm. Um, things were working quite well, but you never know. But it's confidence all around, isn't it? It's confidence in the car, the engineers, because you don't have the experience necessarily in this car. It's confidence in your root note crew as well that allows you to set those sorts of times, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, everybody's obviously trying their best, and uh, it's not easy when things are, are so changeable, uh, for sure. The I have to put a trust, my trust in the engineers a little bit, obviously, with the car, because uh, you know I I can. Uh, it's easy to come up with a balance you you like when you're testing, uh, and you can stress that you want to keep that to them. But ultimately, you know, when the conditions adapt, you have to trust them a little bit how to you know get the best out of the of the package. So. Things have been working well with them and, and the car has been really good for, for giving good feeling and, and confidence. So that's helping. And of course, the gravel crew are having a horrendous job out there. Um, they're having a hard time for me and, and a hard time from the conditions as well. So uh, it's not easy on them, but, uh, you know, they're doing a good job. Elvin, I know it's important as a driver to keep things contained, to try and stay as calm as you possibly can. But you must be absolutely beside yourself with excitement about the potential for the year. How you're well that you've just slotted into this car, into the team. There has to be a bit of excitement and anticipation there. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really given it much thought yet, to be honest. Obviously, it's it's all focus on this and, and just do the, the best job we can. That's all we can do. As you always do. He is Seb Marshall. He is just doing everything right he is containing it he's not the most naturally exuberant of characters but i feel he is really inside thinking this is unreal this is just the dream opportunity in a dream car and a dream team and he is living that dream it is and i think you can see there he seems very composed incredibly focused and i think he's got the right attitude you know it it's so easy to let yourself run away with these things and think oh crikey you know I'm, I'm i'm leading the monte carlo rally i've got this incredible car that i've got so much confidence in underneath me for the rest of the year but but no he's he's there he's now watching the video for the stage after service he's thinking about the adjustments from his gravel crew he's speaking with his engineer he's only got a single track focus and it's, it's exactly the right approach and, uh, and yeah it's obviously paying off so far it's fabulous now we wanted to catch up with our top three but unfortunately i think ogier has gone has he gone i think he has uh, is he across here where is he there's julian yeah he is. He's do you know what i'm looking i was looking for a toy not a toy also i was looking for um what was he in last year a citroen i was looking for a citroen that's exactly what i was looking for how ridiculous how ridiculous. Uh, here he is. Let's go have a word with Champ. I still call him Champ because he'll always be Champ to me. He is the ultimate Champ. It is Sebastian Ogier. Look at that. Cool as you like. He really is calm. Seb, you know, difficult stages this morning. First, I ask a question. What is this? I don't know it. Dirt I mean, fish. You to explain to me. What is dirt fish? Dirt fish, as our listeners and all of our people will know, is the future. That's all you need to know. Oh, Dark fish is the future. You need to know for sure. Future is always interesting. We'll come and talk to you later on and do a little interview with you if that's all right. Uh, Seb, it's exciting for me, that's for sure. But listen, we got excited by the battle out there this morning. Swung slightly against you. But were you happy with how things went? Yeah, I think it's not been a bad morning for us. Uh, consistent again, but uh, very tricky condition, very demanding. First time of the weekend we had to, to drive with third tire. Um, I think uh, I think it's a lot about the risk you ask upset tape or not, and uh, and I always tend to stay uh, 
a little bit on the, as comfort zone as I can. I mean, comfort is maybe a bit too much because it's always tricky here and you cannot say you take no risk. But for sure, uh, my strategy is always uh, staying as safe as I can because it's a lot of surprises waiting for us. And uh, yeah, Elvin have done a very good job in this second stage. So uh, uh, he's ahead again, but for, for not so much. So for sure, we have to uh, keep trying. Yeah, you know what? You're building a lead over the high Hyundai's now. At what point do the two of you have sit down, have a little chat and say, we can't really keep pushing each other here? I don't think there is any plan like this at the moment because anyway, first, uh, Cherry is very close. It's not so much a uh, gap and uh, Turini can bring a lot of surprise up to the end. So uh, honestly, uh, uh, I don't think, uh, I, I mean, we, we are far from that and anyway, we, uh, we have already announced that that's not planned to have any, uh, any strategy, you know, we are fighting for our own, of course we want to give the best to the team, but uh, there is no, uh, uh, no, no leader in the team, we are both having the same chance. That's really good to hear, Seb. <laughs> Listen, good luck. I won't take you too long because I know you're heading into service. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you. And we'll come and tell you all about Dirtfish later. Thank you. Oh, here we go. That's our six times world champion, Seb. Uh, he's very relaxed. He's on his home territory, obviously. They absolutely love him in this area. This morning was about experience, but this afternoon, strangely, with the melting snow and ice, could actually be more about experience, knowing where those difficult patches may well remain, and that is where Ogier could come into his own. We've often seen it in the past, haven't we, where, where Sebastian has uh, just plays himself in the first run of the stages and the afternoon is always where he presses home in advantage. And I think, you know, if he does, it certainly wouldn't be a surprise, but uh, he's got some stiff competition out there to contend with. It'll be a great afternoon, Seb. What is your uh, forecast for what we might see this afternoon? Oh, you put me on the spot there, Colin. <laughs> um, I think... Uh, Perhaps the Toyotas seem to be more comfortable in these conditions, so maybe they'll end up stretching that advantage over Hyundai slightly. But, hey, you never know. Thierry had a good run on the first stage. He could well repeat that, and, uh, and we're back to within 10 seconds again. So stay tuned, I guess. Well, Seb Marshall, as always, wonderful insights from uh, one of the top WRC co-drivers. Folks, thank you very much for joining us for our lunchtime regroup from day three of the Monte Carlo Rally. Don't go anywhere, Dirtfish Rally friends. We'll be back with more later on today.